So first up, how are the troops heading into 2023? Must be exciting to be back in the Yeah, it's, it's been good to be back. Um, it's good to be in amongst them again. Um, I, I don't necessarily, I've not necessarily missed a cold um, in the mud, uh, but yeah, it's been really good. And we're really looking forward to, to building on, on what they did like last year. I obviously had a great year, so building on that. Yeah. So 2023 ahead. Um, how important is it for a club like Batley to really capitalise on what you've done over the last couple of years? Yeah, it is. It's, um, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult as well. We know it's going to be difficult. The, the challenge for us last year was to try and replicate what we did the year before, which was a semi-final position. Unfortunately for us, we, we managed to do that and even better and get to the, to the grand final. So we know that we're on that pedestal once more and teams are going to prep for us. And it's, uh, it's going to be massively difficult. I think the quality in the championship has increased enormously this year. I think consistency-wise, is the, the teams that have that have improved and increased their playing profile and, and the squads that they've got. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot a, a lot more close contested this year for the playoff places. Last year, 80 minutes away from the Super League. Yeah. There's a lot of big clubs in the Championship this year. There's a lot of names being mentioned at the top end. Could the Bulldogs almost coming under, uh, under the radar a little bit? Yeah, I think, you know, everyone's always thought, thinks of Batley as overachieving. Mm. Um, which I suppose when you look at budgets is the case, but you know if you look at what we've done over the last 10 years, a couple of grand finals and Super 8s, we're an established good championship team. So I think our job is to, is to be, be more consistent with those you know, high finishes, getting up, getting up there to semi-finals and grand finals more often. So I think that's been the big focus for us is raising the standard, because as you said, the quality across the championship is, is a lot better. There's not going to be a standout team, I don't think, like there was last year. Yeah, there must be that extra hunger as well that I haven't tasted what you've tasted over the last couple of years as well. Definitely, yeah, and the, and the players have experienced that, as you said, playing in them, them big games as they did last year. You don't always get, get the opportunity to do that, and the, the players have tasted that and, and they want to do it again. Um, and, but we know it's going to be a massively difficult proposition for us. Does it feel like you're kind of almost there to be shot at now as well because of what you've done? Last 24 months. Yeah, potentially. I think we, we had to deal with that last year. Uh, you know, so we know we, we know what, what, what's uh, what's going to be there for us. We know that teams are going to prep for us. Teams are going to be expecting to to have a. a, a, a a real tough game against us and whenever you, you speak to players who have, who have joined the club from other clubs the, the message that they get is that to beat Batley you've got to play for 80 minutes you know so we know that teams know what we're about a, a Batley team that on their day they're going to play for 80 minutes and the team going to have to play for 80 minutes to hopefully try and beat us. Does that help Batley as a, as a kind of proposition for the local community and stuff as well that there's a lot of big names in this league this year? Yeah I think yeah I think Every game, there's not. I don't think there's going to be any dead rubbers, is there? I think there's going to be good games. Everybody can take points off everybody. But they have also like they've, the marketing. They've dropped the prices for season tickets and, and make, making it a lot more accessible for people to get in. So I think there's a real incentive to be able to get down and look at you know some big names um, that, that have signed at Championship clubs. You know the people who might not have seen people like Luke Gale. You know play before they'll be able to come down to, to Mount and. and and watch, you know, a good calibre of player there. Have you been set targets this year? Um, I th we, we've kind of come up with our own. You know, we, we want to be getting into the playoffs because um, once you're in there, it's knockout knockout rugby, and we can, you know, we can probably beat anyone on the on the day. So certainly, we what's gone on this year. So I think, yeah, just for us, it's a, it's about consistency and raising the standards. That it's it's more of a more process stuff because then the result will take care of itself, won't it? Yeah, does it does it annoy you sometimes that teams like Fairv and Bradford and the the other bigger names in the in the division get a lot of the focus, whereas you've done incredible stuff the last couple of years? Uh, not particularly, no. I think it's it's. It's, it hopefully helps us fly under the, under the radar a little bit. Um, we know where we are in the in, in the echelons of rugby league, and we know that Battler uh, in the modern, modern day era is not a massive. It's not a massive club. You know, our, our support is small, but very, uh, very vocal and very loyal, and, and proud of what we can do and what we can achieve. And, and, and we know where we are as a club, and that's what we build our models. That's what we build our ethics on as, as a club. Anybody who comes to Battler, they've got to buy into that ethos of working really hard. You know, it's not going to be an easy, an easy, an easy option for you to come and sign for Battler. You've got to you've got to work 100 percent and and. And, and that's what the club's all about. So you know, we're, we're not bothered. Let, let, the, let the clubs have the limelight, and we'll uh, we'll hopefully dip his heads under that radar. How's the squad coming together for 23? Happy with what, what's been done on the close season? Uh, not particularly. No, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think every coach wants as much money as possible to spend. Our budget's gone down from last year, uh, which I didn't think was possible, but it's, it has happened. Uh, you know, so we want to bring the quality players in, uh, which I, th I think the squad that we've got, I'm really, really happy with. Um, I think I would, I would have liked to have brought a couple more players in in certain positions, but you know, we haven't, we haven't got that, so there's no point crying over it. And I know that the players that we've got there, are, you know, when they put that shirt on, they're going to graft as much. 
as much as possible can for the club.